Daniel here with Radio Disney Country, hanging out with Marin Morris at the CMA Awards. Marin, how are you doing out there in this weird CMA Awards year? <laughs> I'm good. You know, I'm I'm so excited that the CMAs are kind of doing it more in person this time. Um, it'll feel like you know I'm performing to actual people this time. That's exciting. What are yeah. we, what are you performing? I'm performing the Bones. Nice. That is exciting. Yeah. And it's such a big hit for you. And did you know whenever you were done recording that song that like, I think this is the one, guys. Did you feel that with this song? Or or how did that go when you record when you were done finished with the song? When I think back to when I wrote it, it was definitely like a grower for me. Like I loved the song and I loved writing it, but it wasn't until I got the the demo recording back um, that I was playing it for like my husband and some friends and family. I like, you know, always test run demos on my friends and family, but um, my family just like w loved that demo of the bones. And I was like, huh, I wonder if maybe I'm onto something here. And um, I released it before my record came out just as like an instant, you know, download. And um, it just sort of took off. It was like uh, something unexpected for all of us, including my label. Like no one knew that it was gonna have the lifespan it did, but obviously, you know, it's taken on so many different lives and started as a love song. And then it kind of became like a 2020 anthem, like the house don't fall when the bones are good. It's just had so many lives, um, but no, I'm, I'm so excited that it's nominated and that I'll get to perform it for the first time on an award show tomorrow night. That is super exciting. And I want to talk about another song, Better Than We Found It. Um, this kind of, it, I, it, was a, it was a shock for me, a shock for a lot of my coworkers. We hear this song and we're just like, oh my goodness, Marin is just like really using her voice. And the other video you put out, you know, I mean, what was that like for you? Just I mean, why choose to put your yourself out there to use your voice for change like that? You know, I wrote the song for my son. Um, I don't think I could have written a song like that had I not been a new mother. You know, I, I get so much joy and like optimism sometimes when I look at my son because, you know, he's only like eight months old. He, he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> and sometimes I just wish I had that perspective, but I, I know that I don't. I, I'm very aware of everything that's going on and I want to leave this world that we're in right now better than it is to him and that generation of kids. And so um, that's where I was coming and then Gabby Woodland, who directed the video for it, um, is an amazing new talent here in Nashville, um, young black director that um, has so much to say, so much talent. And she it was her idea to actually um, kind of include all those different really personal stories in the music video. And I just think that brought it home for a lot of people that not only heard the song, but watched the music video. Yeah, and one of the things that struck me with it is just that like, I'm a huge fan of yours and it's really cool to see the artists that you spend so much time with in your car and your house and all that actually having your back too when it comes to these things. Well, that means the world and kind of tells me everything, all the anxieties I've had, you know, have meant something to someone. So that really is very, very thoughtful for you to say. Thanks so much for taking some time out with Radio Disney Country. Have so much fun performing on the CMA Awards, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right. Good to talk to you again. Have a good one. <laughs>